Ah, my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. <sighs> Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine, then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must stun myself. Go. Aha! Found it! How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands were made for pitching and catching. Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? Oh yeah, I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard to reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. You see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy, almost four tons. You're probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I better get back to practicing. Ugesaurus. Have a good one, eh? Lizard. Watch me. Hey, come over here. Over here. Yeah, this way. I'm gonna race with a Brachiosaurus back there. Not that is much of a contest. I'm one of the fastest dinosaurs around. Ooh, what a nice rock. I'm so fast I can even take time out and sun myself. I can stand faster than he can run. I have no worries. Ah, that's alive. Oh yes, I'm super fast. And that's got a lot to do with the way I'm built. You see, I'm a carnivore, so I eat meat. I'm perfectly built for chasing smaller animals out here in the plain. And how am I built, you ask? See, 
I'm long and lean. And these long legs make me perfect for running. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I turn. And I'm light. I weigh about 210 kilograms. Which is why I don't have to worry about... Hey, where did he go? I don't believe this. Brachiosaurus won. How could this be? I'm way faster than Brachiosaurus. Fine. I suppose if I had done less talking and more running, I would have won the race. Okay, you, get up. I challenge you to another race. Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Oh, this is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get when you're over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. As a herbivore, I love eating plants. That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place. I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm going to be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet. And there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Maybe it won't be today. out of my egg.
Welcome to my forest 66 million years ago. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. Grrr. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing. But somewhere else. Bye! Yo! Welcome to my forest here, in the late Jurassic period over 150 million years ago. That's a super duper long time ago. My name is Dryosaurus. High five! It's pretty easy to say my name. Dry O Saurus. It means oak lizard. This is a cheek tooth. Sort of shaped like an oak leaf, don't you think? I come from Tanzania. That's the problem with meat eaters like him. They're always trying to get to know me better. Personally, I like knowing trees and plants. You know, with a little sprig or two of fern. That's just yummy. I might be little, but I'm fast. How little? I'm three meters long. Okay, you probably noticed that I'm always running. But that's how I protect myself. Some dinosaurs have horns or really sharp teeth and claws. But I run really fast. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I make really sharp turns. Like this! Woo! That's gonna leave a mark. Awesome turn you did there, dude. High tail. On the down low. Hey. Oops, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> now that's fast food. On the hunt? Or am I being hunted? I'm Nick Webasaurus. That's Nick Webasaurus. The first dino ever to have a tongue click in his name. <laughs> Hurry, we must keep going. I'm being followed. I may not be big, but I'll have you know I am the great uncle to the powerful and famous T-Rex. In 50 million years, T-Rex will be crowned king of the dinosaurs. And he'll have me to thank. Dinos like me have been found in what is now known as Africa. Though I'm not as large as a T-Rex, I'm still all carnivore. <laughs> I eat insects and small lizards. My hands help me a lot because though I have only three fingers, one 
is like a thumb, making grabbing much easier. And these claws, razor sharp. They help me climb when there are no branches. My talents are hiding and sneaking around. I am super duper at being quiet and, well, invisible, really. But sometimes... Ah! <laughs> We're also very, very jumpy. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Those guys make me laugh. Yes, there you go. Well, hello. I'm Muda Burasaurus. Yeah, see you with me. Muda Burasaurus. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period. Yes, I'm named after Muda Bura. The place where they found my fossil in what is now known as Australia. As you can see, I'm the top of my game when it comes to eating these cicada trees. But how's your honking? He can honk louder than any Mutabura source around. Mm, yes, yeah, you see, we have these little honkers up here on our heads that we make our calls from. I challenge you to a honk off. A honk off, eh? Hmm, yeah, you're on. I'm a pretty big dino. I'm nine meters long. And I'm a herbivore. Not bad, but try this one. Good, that was a real good one. Uh-oh, we seem to have called the whole herd over. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have a honk along? Great idea. See you next time. and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Trinidon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well, the secret is that I'm not a... So, okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan, about 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later.
Jurassic period. You haven't seen three of my herd around here, have you? My name is Scootalosaurus. That's Scootalosaurus, but you can call me Scoots. My friends and I like to hide from each other. My name means little shield lizard. My shield is made up of all these little armor plates. They help to defend me and hide me. I'm a bipedal herbivore, which means I eat plants and walk around on my two back legs. But I am top heavy. Hmm. Now, where did those guys go? I'm from what is now Arizona in the United States of America. I have a beak and special teeth, which allows me to eat all these tasty plants. Oh no, not the Dilophosaurus again. Come here, you little morsel. Jump in my mouth. What? Where'd he go? Hmm. Ah, that's better. I'm safer here with you, right? See, I'm just a little guy. I'm about the same size as you. Now, if I was my herd, where would I hide? Hmm? Hmm? Oh well, maybe if you come back later you'll see them. But you'll have to look closely. Bye! Introduce myself. I am Sonornithoids. A theropod is a bipedal omnivore, which means I walk on two legs and I'll eat just about anything, meat or plant. And welcome to what is now known as China in the Middle Cretaceous period. It is said that I, Sonornithoids, and one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. And many scientists have concluded that my brain is larger than other dinos. True, I'm not the largest dinosaur out there, but sheer size isn't everything. Take the modern turkey, for example. He and I are about the same size, but the differences between us are obvious. <laughs> He's a bird brain. <laughs> it is said that I, Sonornithoids, am not only very smart, but also disciplined and precise. Especially when I'm on the hunt. Here, let me show you some of my moves. Ha! This is a position I like to call Feathered Dragon Leaping. Observe and learn. Ha! Uh, well, it seems I'm a little tied up at the moment. Please come back real soon. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Ooh.